was gonna get in trouble. Why are you always like Leanne? <laughs> oh shit! Hey Kev, you want me to tell Damien you just smashed his car? Or are you gonna do that? Oh, let's just say George did it. What did I do? Bloody cheeky bitch! Swift and Shift Couriers, Depot Manager Keith Warren speaking. It's Amanda. Ah, oh, hello, Amanda. How's the efficiency team and the new computer system going? Damien and Karen have moved in. I'll call you as soon as it's finished. The new system will have a huge impact on productivity, Keith. Ah, oh, of course. This is what good management is all about. Oh, really? Oh. Do you get it yet, Keith? Oh, absolutely. What do you want, Anthony? Um, to see if you like a boss. Tanya! Tanya! This is not a soy decaf latte. How thick are you? It's just a coffee. How hard can it be? You know what? You know what? I don't think I can bear this anymore. Your sack, get out. Is this warm Milo? I asked for coffee. Um, I, st I still don't know how to make coffee. Actually, it's not too bad for you. Mm. OK, piss off. I'm Amanda Doyle, the new regional manager of Swift & Shift. The courier business should be simple, really. You, the client, phones our call centre and tells us what's going where. The radio room should organise a competent driver to take your package from A to B on time. It seems so simple. So why does Keith Stepper always manage to stuff it up? Hello, Swift & Couriers. Ah, uh, hi Keith. Uh, just to let you know that we're about to uh, change the system over, OK? Why would you want to change a system that's been working perfectly fine for 15 years? Well, Keith, it's all part of the efficiency overhaul that Karen and I have designed for the company. Embrace the change. Don't fear it. Change is good. There you go, champ. Mario, I'm sick of your whimsic, bro. Really, pull your head in, mate. Now, what do I get all the shit jobs for, mate? What, you got me in the city now, now I've got to go to Bogan Hills. That's three tiles plus a bridge that goes up and down. Have we got a problem here? Oh, hold on, dickhead. Mario wants better jobs, but the bloke's a dickhead. Hey, Mario's all right. He's one of the few drivers who can speak English. You look after him. Hey, guys, I'm downloading cheerleader porn. I heard there's a nasty Trojan virus on the net at the moment, bro. Nah, our system has firewalls. Don't worry about it, bro. Now, would you look at that? Isn't she a beauty? Should go great guns. Um, Keith, just letting you know, Leanne was late again. Oh, thanks, Darren. I didn't know that. My name is Oliver. Uh, we're just about ready, Keith. Finally, the phones, computers and courier's GPS will all be linked. We will be able to track packages much more effectively. What's taking the pussy so long? Did you just see what's taking the pussy so long? Hey, free Australian, you fucking coconut. Has anyone ever told you that you're a bit hard to understand sometimes? Anybody ever told you you're a fucking goose? <laughs> Swift and Shift Couriers, hello. So, you two installed all of this, eh? Including the software. Well, it was really no trouble. Uh, to tell the truth, we managed to pick up most of these components off eBay for an absolute song. Wow. We've saved the company a fortune. Mm, I'll bet. I'm sorry, I'm not sure if we go that far. Hey, does anyone know where Gallup's Crossing is? Yeah, it's on the way to Dubbo. It's about four hours out of Sydney. Hey, Key, will we do airport to Gallup's Crossing? Oh, we will, but I mean all charges, kilometres, tolls, the lot. So I spoke to the dwarf and I said, mate, you better give me a better job, you little smurf. That's what I said to him, them words. Right. And finally he's given me a good job. Are you serious? The man, you won't believe what it is. Yeah, just, just hang on a second, will you? Let me show you, bro. My treat. Hello. Hey, Louis, hello. Gym, huh? You listening, man? What were you talking about? Man, it's a, it's a sex doll. Huh? I had to pick it up from the airport. 
it's very realistic looking, but you know, them idiots in customs, like they kept the box. So look, I've just put it up the front, it's just like driving around with me. So it's a blow up doll, is it? You'd know all about those, wouldn't you? No, no, this one's very realistic, man. It's like not like them cheap ones with the mouth open and the, like the popped eyes. It looks sort of like a real chick. I've actually put it in the front seat so I can use the transit lane. Ah, uh, here we go. She's firing up. OK, everybody, strap yourselves in. What's that supposed to be? Alex? That doesn't look like cheerleaders to me. Who's Damien? Uh, I'm Damien. They told me to tell you that I, uh, I smashed your car. You what? Uh, I smashed your car. You think maybe it's a virus? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I smashed your car. Danger. Shit! Danger. My GPS just went off. Hello? Yeah, just letting you know, mate, the uh, system shit itself. Is that why my GPS just died? Yeah, it's totally crashed, mate. Most people have been sent home for the day. Hey, who am I supposed to talk to if I've got any dramas with this thing? Call the air. She's on the switch. She'll be able to help you get there. She's from Dubbo. Any other dramas? Call Damien and Karen, those efficiency wankers. They call them on Key's number. OK, yeah. Excuse me? You wanted a good job, now you got one. Yeah. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> uh, David, um, you don't really think I'm a wanker, do you? No, I don't think you're a wanker. I think you're a dickhead. Well, I'm off. When did you say they could fix it? Um, unfortunately, that won't be until tomorrow. <gasps> off for two whole days. Well, Amanda wants your full report on what went wrong. Keith, we informed you of our decisions along the way. Hey, don't try and palm this off on me. I've sent Amanda faxes of all your emails recommending this system. Uh, um, although it's very, very unlikely, uh, if there is a, a little problem, uh, where can we reach you? Oh, I'll be on a fairway with no mobile coverage. But if something does happen, embrace the change. Apparently it's good. <laughs> Uh, boss, should I stay or go home as well? Oh, you better stay, mate. Those two might need a Milo before the day's out. <laughs> OK. Two Milos for them. Fucking Oliver. Yeah, I reckon it's a bit slack making you stay, love. Well, maybe next time she won't be late, will you, Leanne? <laughs> Leanne's only been here a month. You should have got that wanker Oliver to stay back. Who's Oliver? The gay one. I thought his name was Darren. George, why are you still here? Everyone else has gone home. They told me to guard the forklift. There's a thief around here. What thief? The one that keeps stealing my shoes when I go to the toilet. <laughs> George, you don't have to take your shoes off when you go to the toilet. But I always wear on them, Keith. That's why I have to take them off. Hello, Swift and Shift Couriers. Hello, it's me, Fernando, from Peters of Patani. I have a bunch of tulips going to Surrey Hills. No, sorry, our system is down. We can't take any jobs. Why did you pick up the phone then? So I can tell people like you our system is down. What about the tulips? Hello? It smells like Milo. Hello, excuse me. You think you're the first idiot to think of putting a doll in the front seat so you can drive in the transit lane? Murray, come on, man. We used to work together at Swift and Shift, I mean, you know? Like, couldn't you just forget this has happened? Remember when you grass cut me with Melissa? So I'll see you tonight? Yes. Okay. I'll stop it. You're joking. What, you're going out with Murray now? Look, 
Mario, I told you we were over, okay? Can we just keep this professional? Oh, yeah, it's professional. I just didn't know you liked going out with married men. Oh, he's married? You shouldn't fucking grass cut your mates where pussy's concerned. Oh, $80, man. I just can't believe that the staff think that I'm a wanker. I just thought I was being appropriate. Swift and Shift Couriers, Efficiency and Logistics Manager speaking. Is that Leanne? Her line's busy. I'm putting you on hold. It's hard being a manager, isn't it? Staff have just got this tall poppy thing going on. We deserve their respect, not their jealousy. Yeah. I mean, since we got made Efficiency Managers, I've felt the same way completely. Since Greg left me, you've become a really good work friend, Damien. Hello, Swift and Shift. It's Paul. Who? Well, you all call me Mario. You know that stupid nickname? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm just about to leave the city. Uh, the Smurf told me you could give me directions to Gallop Crossing. You mean Gallop's Crossing? I've got a paper. One minute, I'll just try and find a pen. I've got a straw. Uh, don't worry, I can't find a pen. Just tell me. Take the M8 until the mountains. Yeah. After the mountains, there's a shortcut through Duffy's Forest. OK, yeah, yeah. Then take the turn off to Gugandra and Gondawaru. OK. For real. Whatever you do, don't stop in Gondawaru. Gondawaru. It's that town that you see on today, tonight, with all the feral kids. Oh, hey, Leanne, I just bought a cheap fuel, so listen, uh, I think I got them directions. It sounds pretty simple. Hello? Hey, dickhead, the system's there and all the drivers are getting paid even though they're not on the road. How come you're getting paid, mate? Yeah, it's got to do with some loophole in our contracts, which means you're the only dickhead who's working for his money today. The dwarf told me this was one of the good jobs and it, what, it's just another shit job, man. Hey! Yeah, you fuck, get off the fucking phone, you dangerous prick. How is this dangerous, man? Fuck. Uh, hey, Louie, I'm just going to go because I'm putting in fuel. Could be dangerous. It's my cash. Ah. It's with the shit job doll, mate. What you wanna do, babe? I wanna hit it some more. I wanna hit it. You wanna hit it? I wanna hit it. I wanna hit it some more. What the more. shit doll? I really wanna hit it. Shit. I don't know what the fuck I know what for you. Have a go at this fucking hero, will ya? Look at him beating on a fucking woman. You can waste the fucking time, you stupid shit job. Mm, you fuck. Ah, oh, fuck this. Hey! You like to beat up women, you low gunner. Alright, listen. You better commit it. get lunch in the next town. It's probably the good one ahead. Oh, man. Huh. It looks like you got a real one. Yuck. Yeah, I swear, like, they didn't even notice me taking it. Like, I'll put it on the MPEG if you want to, like, put it on your computer. Look, what do you reckon they're doing now? Shh, listen. Hello, Swift and Shift Couriers. Hello, it's Amanda Doyle from Head Office. Can you put Keith on? Um, Keith's out at the moment. Oh, oh. Um, hi, I have Amanda from Head Office on Line 5. Oh, shit! I told you this was a bad idea! 
Hello, Acting Manager Damien speaking. Well, where's Keith? Yes, Keith's out of the office at the moment. Well, are you making any progress? No, no, no progress yet. Oh, look, I know the system's down, but when are you going to get it up? Unfortunately, they won't be able to make it until tomorrow. Well, do you have any idea how much this is costing us? You are a bloody idiot, Damien. I don't have an exact dollar value for what the company's losing. Oh, fuck off! I've got bad reception, can you hear me? Yeah, Mario, I can hear you. Leanne, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get in touch with you. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I got you, yeah, I got you now. Um, hey, I turned into Gone Dildo, whatever the town's called. I think it's the good one, this is it. But then, what's the big turn after that? Mario, this line's really bad. Look, I think you just asked me about the next turn-off. Yeah, Leanne, hello. Uh, the next turn-off is at a place called Dunny Do. It's just near Gallup's Crossing. These directions feel good, Leanne. Uh, does anybody know where the cleaning products are kept? Uh, we've had a bit of a uh, spill in Keith's office. Do you know you're not wearing any shoes? Hey, did the shoe thief steal your shoes too? Hey, buddy, do you have any food? Then just, I don't know, do you have a can of Coke? Where are you going? Don't you have it here? Ah. What the fuck happened there? Oh, oh God! Every fucking mug! Open up, mate! It's fucking old cousins, I'll bet. Hey, are you the mechanic in this town? Yeah. Do you have a cop station here? No. Now they all know. I should never have let you talk me into this. You knew I was vulnerable. So I walked out there with no shoes on. I mean, what can they tell from that? This is only my first week in a management position. No one's going to find out. You're worried about nothing. Oh, hey. Look what Anthony sent me. It's a picture of those two wankers getting it off in Keith's office. I'll be fucked. I thought she was frigid. Well, not anymore, bro. <laughs> Hello? Man, it's me. Well, I'm in a country town, like some bumpkin place. They stole the wheels off the van, man. Who stole what? Some feral kids took the mags off my van, mate. I found the mechanic. <laughs> He says to me he can't get new wheels for the van till tomorrow. So I'm stuck here overnight, mate. Look, you know, I asked this dude, gee, have you got, like, a courtesy car? You know what he'd give me? He's give me a postman bike. The postman bike as courtesy car. Look at this, and I've got to take the doll, like, with me on the back, and I've got to do the delivery to the arse end of, like, the bumpkin lands. Doll on the back. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Bye. <laughs> Which way now? Wait a minute, them hills. You've got to have a crossing to get through hills, so the Gallup crossing's most probably in them hills. Hello, Switch and Shift Couriers. Hey, Leanna, I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. Did you say to turn onto the road that says road closed? Yeah, it's a dirt road. Um, hello, Mario. Hey. Hey, you're cutting out. Leanne. Mario. Leanne. Mario. I can't hear, but look, I'm thinking that probably because the road's closed, it's probably like a good shortcut. Yep, yeah, Mario, if you can hear me, I just stay on the road. Did you just say yes? 
Don't take the dirt yes, road. You? You'll end up in Belangelo State Forest. Take the closed road? No, I said don't take the dirt road. Well, I can't really hear, but I think you said yes, so I'm going to take the road closed. Do not take the dirt road. Can you hear me? Goodbye. Thank you. Alien, did your computer come back on? Yeah, I think they all did. Uh, the system just came back on. Yeah, I know. I just fixed the... How? I just switched that big new computer on and off a few times, and then it came on. The same thing happens to my PlayStation. Some road closed. No wonder it's closed. It's a bloody cliff. Calling a man. The battery now. Fuck, should have charged it. Okay, Mario, you wanted a good job, now you got one. Don't fuck it up. Hello, down the hill! Hello! Hello! Oh, Did you hear that? What? Did you hear something down there? No, where? Let's have a look. It's down there. Oh, shit! He's dragging by the feet. Is she dead? Oh, the bastard! Oh, my God! That's it! I just climb up this tree and then I see everything! Oh. What's he climbing the tree for? This is fucking weird! There's nothing! Just tree! Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> How can anyone do that to a dead body? That is foul! Foul! Oh. Police? Yes, we have a visual on a dead body. I'm not giving up! I'm gonna get you in a stupid gallop crossing, alright? Good morning. Yeah. Uh, good news. Good news. The uh, system's back in action. Oh, great. Not the only thing in action around here, eh? <laughs> you too. <laughs> Keith. Yeah, what's up, Renzo? Yesterday's job to Gallops Crossing didn't get there. What the bloody hell happened? Where's Maria? Ladies, is that a blind in the oven? Don't worry, uh, she's not alive. I mean, she's not dead. I mean, because she's a doll. Ladies, is that a 